be down whenever you want to start. All right, let's do a countdown from seven for the meme. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so right off the bat, this is a uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat for the GameCube. I'm using the Bongo controller as it is faster and it's the only way to play the game. Otherwise, it's boring, so don't do it. Um, I'm moving by pressing the buttons on the bongos, and I have to attack things by pressing them fast and in synchronized order. Uh, quite a bit of things to explain right in the beginning here, but... Um, I need bananas to get crests at the end of each level, and I need 51 to complete the game. This is any percent. And uh, I'll explain more of that in a second, but... In this first level, I'm not going to bother too much with bananas. I'm going to just try to get to the end as fast as possible, which I'm going to do with the assistance of a trick known as IWC, Infinite Wall Clap, where I'm going to switch the clap sensor to the most sensitive setting and blow into it. And just basically zip to the end of the level. So what that allows me to do is to build a mental while I'm on a wall, and then I can go through walls and into them which will be used throughout this run to do many things that I can hopefully get first try. So in this level I need two crests. crests, which I need 400 bananas to get. Ideally I'll end level with at least 420 so the ceremony at the end of the level goes faster. Just getting 400 is good enough. With other levels, or most levels in the game, I'm going to need at least 800 bananas to get the gold crest. And if I get 840 or greater in those levels, then the ceremony will be fast there. I was one banana off from getting the fast ceremony, which is only about two seconds faster, so it's not too bad. But that's the first level. This is the boss of this level. There's a boss at the end of every level, I guess you mentioned that. And, uh, this is Dreadcon. He's a guy. So there are four types of bosses in this game. Um, one is this format right here, which is just kind of like a, a boxing style match with another gorilla or a monkey. I don't really know the difference, honestly, in the case of these monkeys, because I don't know if they're all gorillas. But the other bosses are birds, elephants, and pigs, which we'll see in the first four levels. And yeah. Um, blowing into the clap sensor only claps, where with the bosses I have to. I have to skip the text. I have to actually press the buttons to punch them. So I'll be using the, the clap sensor just used for grabbing bananas and grabbing onto enemies and stuff like that. Anything that I'm actually hitting, I have to use the buttons for. Okay. So crests unlock levels, which is seen right here. Again, I need 51 at the end of the game, which I will have, assumedly, <laughs> obviously. Okay, so this level I'm riding on this creature that I believe is a wildebeest, and uh, I need to get a lot of bananas. My goal is to end this level or these two levels, a series of levels, with at least 1,200 bananas to get the Platinum Crest. Which I'll be doing in a few levels, but the majority of them are still gold. So when I jump, I get um, the amount of bananas doubles, I want to say. I don't actually know, to be honest, but jumping into the bananas gives me more. So I'll be doing that while I'm riding on this guy. Jumping into him gives me more when I'm riding in the ball, that is. Not everywhere else. 
which is why I'm jumping here and whatnot. Okay. So you have the opportunity here to get some bonus bananas by doing a long jump, but that's slow, so I'm just gonna try to slow down as soon as you get to the edge here. And that was pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> Ideally, I would be going down the hill very fast and then slow down towards the end, which I went a bit too slow there, but it's nothing large. So here I need the additional 400 or so to get 1200, which isn't too hard, as long as I don't mess anything up. I guess something I should mention is that the game, the purpose of playing with the bongos is so you can clap, like, in real life while when you clap in the game, but that would be painful to do throughout runs, so I just hit the side of the bongos, which works just as well, if not better. This is one of the bird fights, and for this one and the next one that'll come up later, our goal is to kill them in two cycles, but we want to get the first cycle to be not a lot of health, that was worded awfully, but <laughs> I want to get him down to a little over 300 in this first, because when you get him below 300, he plays, it, the game plays an animation. Oh, hello. I don't think it me. I'll explain that in a second. Um, if I get the boss below 300 health, it'll play a uh, cutsy bird being angry, and I'll have to hit him twice in the next cycle, but if I just get him right above him the next cycle, we skip that, which saves about 10 seconds. We got to fight, which was not really ideal, but it's not too big a problem. I don't even know how that happened, honestly. Okay. So the next level is the Watermelon Kingdom. And the first level, I'm going to do a trick known as Monkey Fest Skip, which I hopefully get first try and it skips a majority of the level, hence the name. So normally I have to go through the entire tree here and go around and get thrown around by monkeys, but unless I mess up like I just did, <laughs> I guess I'll go for it again though. It's just obviously slower. Okay. This is like my least favorite skip in the game. It's awful and I hate it. But yeah. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that skips the majority of the level by just jumping to one of the last monkeys. So on these mini-games, like the one I just did, ideally I want to get at least 65 or more. And... I don't know why I just jumped there. <laughs> um, 70 is always good to get, unless I really don't need it. Then it just wastes a couple frames when it's counting the bananas. But getting too many bananas is never a bad thing. I 
want the gold crest in this level, so ideally I'm going to end with 840 so I can get the fast ceremony as well as the gold crest, which I should be on pace to do with these bananas. Okay. <laughs> that was another uh, infinite wall clap, which ideally would just bring me to here, but I grabbed one of the pigs, so luckily it was the last one. It's not too slow. And this guy, I just need to throw coconuts at him, which will be a mechanic seen throughout the game and in the pig boss fights, which is also one right now. So I can throw up to three coconuts at this guy per cycle. I'm going to try to get three the first cycle and hopefully finish him off with just one. Okay, I'm going to go for two, just to be safe. If I hit him with one coconut, it takes out ten health. A second will deal another twenty. The third will do 50 damage, so all three of the coconuts at once will do 80 damage total. And that is the Watermelon Kingdom. Wait through these ceremonies at the end of each level. It's not a bad break, honestly. I have no problems with it. Usually a good time for him to drink water or something of the sort. Remember to stay hydrated. It's important for your health. This is the Apple Kingdom, and it's bad, but in this category it's not that bad because I only need 400 bananas. So I'm not going to worry too much about bananas in general in this level, I only need a few, and I can pretty much get it just by going through. I'm not really going to waste too much time collecting an immense amount. So this is a... Uh, a mini boss enemy, I guess, and you're supposed to run up to him and do a sequence where he rolls around and you have to wait for him to stop rolling around, but what I did there was when I got to the zone that he his fight starts in, I wall jumped off of the wall that forms when the fight starts, allowing me to skip him rolling and other stuff like that. The flowers that I'm getting here are in many of the levels, and if I get 100 of the flowers, I get 100 bananas, which I'm going to do in this level, as it doesn't really waste time, and it's just a free 100. I guess something else I should say is, uh, whenever I grab a banana that, like that, but it's not in a bubble, um, I waste 5 frames, I guess you can say waste or whatever, and if it's in a bubble, it's 10 frames. Okay. That movement can be a bit annoying, I just had to get over the chicken, usually you have to fight him, but you can just bounce right over him. I did get the ideal amount of bananas, so that's nice, with some extras in case you get hit in the boss. And this guy's back just for some bonus bananas that I don't need in this speedrun, or any speedrun. But yeah, so we're just gonna land there instead of going slow, because slow is bad. So this is the first Tusk boss fight. The goal here is to stuff his trunk with pineapples and then blow up his heart with more pineapples.
so there's no immense beating in this boss. Poor word choice. But just clapping to grab and throw pineapples. I threw that pineapple too early. It's my bad. Okay. That last pineapple can be kind of hard. If I don't throw it soon enough, then it can hit one of his cannonballs and then I have to get another one. say. Um, I suppose the story of the game that I may or may not know. Uh, from what I understand, the Kongs of whatever land this is have stolen all the bananas, I think. Or just tyrants that rule over the monkeys cruelly. So Donkey Kong goes around saving the innocent monkeys and collecting bananas at the same time that they may have stolen. And uh, that's the story, I think. And these crests have something to do with royalty, but I don't really know who's the king. Who the king is. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's you. Who knows? It's a great story, though. Okay, so right now I just unlock the next four levels. I believe this is the first level, I yeah, think right, with the bird partner, and he's used in many of the levels to fly, obviously. And if I touch any of the walls or get hit by enemies, I will fall and have to get a new bird, which is why they're scattered about. And if I get hit, I also lose my banana combo. That goes for whenever I have a combo, which I don't think I ever explained. Um, the way I get combos to build up more bananas is to start it off with a specific move, so a wall jump, a backflip, a ground pound, or using a bird, or any other utilities, really. And I keep a combo as long as I don't touch the ground or get hit by an enemy. So that allows my bananas to go up exponentially, and it's very useful. Especially in this level where I'm going to try to build up a combo of 10, maybe it's 9 in this category. 9 sounds more right, yeah. Okay, so I need 800 for this level. And this is the end, so it seems like I do not have nearly enough. If I got hit, I wouldn't, but... <laughs> I'm gonna get the rest from here, which with the combos makes it very easy to get what I need. In fact, I got way too much there. Just get some extra for no reason here. I already have. Yeah, so that's 50 more than I needed, but it's not a terrible thing to do. So this is a hog again, and yeah, pretty much the same process, because I missed one of the coconuts. Oh, that was not a good first cycle. Ideally I would get a two cycle here, but with how bad that was, this might end up being a three. Especially if I miss that. Even so. Yeah, okay. I'll probably just finish them off with three coconuts here. If I can even get them all, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So as I said, ideally that would be done in two cycles, but I didn't do so good in the first one, so just had to finish them off with the coconuts.
And that is Strawberry Kingdom. Next is the Pineapple Kingdom, and it's quite a good one. level has is the first level to include a feature of the bubble that will carry me up to the end of the level and if I clap on the bubble it will pop and I'll fall and that can happen sometimes just from me speaking it doesn't happen too often but it can so I'm going to avoid talking while I'm in this bubble and yeah it's coming up right now It's not too long of a segment, just want to make sure I don't fall there. And especially since I have the clap sensor in the most sensitive setting, it can be easy to trigger that sometimes. Just from speaking or sudden noises. So this level is a water level, and swimming is terrible in this game as there's only two buttons on the controller that are used and you need to go up and down and left and right. Swimming is not very easy to control. Okay. I have to wait for this guy to stop being annoying. I keep my combo underwater, and if I, uh, if I get hit, then I lose the combo with up bananas, which I don't want. And there's no way to get past that guy who's been waiting. Okay. This orca whale runs off a cycle, and that was not a very good time to get him. He was all the way out. Ideally, he'd just be right at the entrance, but out cycle. Okay. Don't need to there. Don't need any really. But get some backup. So the water in the background here actually causes lag. So normally Kong fights would take three cycles, we can just kind of do two with the extended time to hit them. And the water lag will be abused again in the Melon Kingdom later on to defeat one of the hog bosses a lot easier. That's pineapple. So there's 18 kingdoms total that I need to go through. And that would be the sixth. So that's a third of the game, I suppose. And a little under a third of the run. So this is Lemon, and uh, first level is just a race with this guy. And if I win the race, I get 300 bananas, which is not very hard at all. Winning is very easy. The other bird wins at about 1 minute and 7 seconds, I believe. And assuming this goes well, I'll win at about 45 seconds, so winning is not very hard at all basically a, three, a free 300 bananas, which is why we get the Platinum Crest this level.
Yeah, 43 seconds. So that's pretty good. Alright, and this next level is uh, kind of annoying. It has its own emote dedicated to it. Under the name Cactus Mine, named after the level. It's in my chat. If my chat's connected, I believe it is. So ideally, I'm going to start a combo here, and it's going to continue until the end of the level. Meaning I can't land on any of the solid ground until the end of the level. Which will get me the 800 brands I need, about. I also can't get hit. pig enemies with the coconuts, and this one can be annoying because he can hit you with a red spike ball that will pretty much kill a run, but in the case of a marathon such as this one, if he does hit me, I'll just make up the crest on a different level, because the amount I get in each level doesn't matter, I just need 50 on the end of the game. So, as long as I have that, it doesn't matter. This spider enemy comes up a couple times throughout the game, and he has three possible um, blink cycles. Two of them he blinks seven times, I believe, and then the fastest one he blinks three times, so that is good RNG, which I did get there, so that would save a little less than ten seconds, I believe. That seems like too much. Maybe five seconds. So this is the second bird boss, and I'm going to attempt to kill him in two cycles without triggering the angry cutscene again, which isn't too hard. Yeah. So from now on, there are no more bosses that I can skip the angry cutscenes for, unfortunately. I just wanted everyone to be happy. Just you know, from what I'm listening to now, it sounds like the audio is back in soon. Hooray, we've done it. No, we didn't, because I didn't do jack shit. <laughs> Hooray. Uh, OBS has done it. Congrats, OBS. Alright. This next level is the Grape Kingdom, and this first level is very fun casually. It's got a lot of jello, but in a speedrun such as this one, uh, I'm going to skip the vast majority of it by doing this. <laughs> that I can't do right. Okay, so there I didn't use the infinite wall clap to actually fly off the wall, I just used it to climb up it, which allows me to get to the end faster. If I were to fly off of it and use the momentum, I go very far to bounds, causing the level to just be so far away that I fall infinitely, and that's obviously not good. I only need 400 bananas in this level, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I can easily get enough by just going through.
There's another infinite wall clap here, that's kind of hard. Yeah, ideally I would have went all the way to the top of this hill, but most of the time I just kind of get stuck there. It's just still a bit faster than the normal way to go. I'm going to skip a couple of these cycles by jumping early, and that's the best way I can get to explain that, so that's all I'm going to say about it. Trigger the appearance of these walls by clapping on that platform down there, which allows me to get to the end here. And right there, I just did a wall jump and a hop off the wall in order to get a combo to get enough bananas. So I did get the goal of 420 or above, which allows me to save two seconds on the ceremony. This game is amazing to speedrun, and it is not awful to play. Everyone should speedrun it. Get it now. This boss can be kind of tricky, with pineapple throws and whatnot. The first cycle is not bad, but for the third cycle, I have to block a laser, and it's kind of a tight. something. Time zone. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, right there, if I didn't throw that into his trunk at that time, then he would have popped a laser out of his trunk, which I wouldn't be able to start another cycle of hitting him unless I blocked it. Ooh, meant to throw that in his trunk. Alright. That wasn't the best, but it wasn't awful. That was interesting. Okay. And those are the first eight kingdoms. The next four are quite interesting, and I don't like them. Not really, that's not true. I don't like portions of them of inconsistent skips. I guess I shouldn't say inconsistent, but things that can go wrong. Some people seem to say that this game is hard to play in long duration because of how much you have to hit the controller and whatnot, but I've gotten very used to it. Okay, this level takes place on ice, and it's not the first one to do it, but I forgot to mention it earlier. Controls on ice are also very strange in this game, and they can cause a lot of absurd things to happen. So normally I can do a backflip, which will start a combo, and is a jump that gives me some more height in some scenarios, but when you're on ice, in most cases, the backflip is replaced with a spin jump, and that's going to be used in this level to skip an enemy, hopefully. Skip killing an enemy, that is. And I'll mention that when it comes up again. Okay. So I'm gonna need to spin jump here to start a combo that I'm gonna use to get some bins. And yeah. That was pretty good. Okay, so right here, coming up after the water, is going to be two of the coconut throwing pig enemies known as coca bees. And I'm just going to kill the one on the left, and instead of kill the one on the right like you're supposed to and use the monkeys to fly over, I'm just going to do a spin jump to get over the wall. 
like so. It's a neat little skip that saves quite a bit of time. Somehow I have like 50 more bananas than I usually do here, but that's not really a problem. This level introduce some new enemies that have unique ways of fighting them like everybody does in this game. And they are interesting for the most part. One coming up right now is known as a Tar Man, and he's a, a man made of tar, I guess is what to say about him. And so I can't go too close to him, otherwise he goes underground, but I just have to hit this thing back at him three times. And he'll come back in the next level, actually. And one after that. appreciate the meat in the corner. Okay, so this next enemy is a panda, and I think officially known as a Shao Shao. And he's going to shoot a shockwave out that I have to clap back at him to kill him. And so I just have to jump over him and he'll jump back and do it right now. But in rare cases he will do that move that he just did as soon as he spawns in, which is known as early panda, and no one knows what causes it. But it is very nice to get when it happens, very rarely. It saves like a good 10 seconds. So I got like 100 more bananas than I need in this level, but that's fine because this boss can be a bit annoying, to say the least. He's gonna throw flaming rocks at some point, assumedly. He doesn't do it all the time, but most of the time he does. And if I get hit, it takes out like 50 health. I'm going to try to prevent that though. That was a very good first cycle. Getting him below 300 in the first cycle doesn't happen very often. It's quite a treat, you guys, honestly. Please. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so there they are. And one of them hit me. It's only 30 health, actually. I was wrong, but that's fine. Having yeah, a crystal isn't bad. Alright. So that fight is mostly RNG based. I would hope that he would stay to the left for the first two cycles and then go right the last one. Is the best RNG to get, but he did some odd movement there, so it's a bit slow. And that's Cherry. The next level is quite interesting as it has a skip that saves about 20, maybe 30 seconds, and it is kind of annoying to get at the points, but it is a neat trick. I'm going to go for it a few times. It's very odd, and I'll explain that better in a moment. So the beginning level is normal, I just need to get some bananas. Okay. So, this is going to get his jellyfish. Good. So right here what I'm going to do is roll down or er, slide down this hill, spin jump into a thing, and yeah. That was good. Okay, so I'm in the wall. That can go wrong and I can be outside the wall, which makes progression impossible. And I'll just be stuck in that one area where I will swim through on a fish in a minute. 
But because I'm inside the wall, I can swim around and fight the fish I need to fight, which will bring me through that area. Otherwise, I can't get to him. So I'm really glad I got that skip first try. It can be kind of annoying. In fact, in the current world record, I can save a minute on that. Because I didn't get it first try. So assumedly, this one is currently world record pace. Yeah, so let me explain what happened there a little better. It's the same thing used in the original level in Banana, where I blow into the clap sensor and then slide up the wall and basically just zip to the end level. Which is allowed to happen because it is, I guess. And because when I slid up the wall I reached the end of it, it kept the momentum and brought me to the end. Okay. There's gonna be some more neat uses of the infinite wall clap IWC in this level to skip an enemy and go fast. See, I can do that at any point. I should demonstrate that at the point there. So, like... Sliding up the wall there is useful to skip the bird, but... And to get past the V, as I just did. So sliding up walls is very useful, and yeah. In those cases, I didn't go through anything or fly forward because I didn't reach the end of the wall. So this is the tar man again. A little low on bananas, but I can fix that. Just adjust to that, honestly. Right. So coming up right here, I'm going to attempt to do another IWC off of one of these moving platforms to get to the end of the level a little bit faster, instead of waiting for this to move. There we go. So it only saves a few seconds, but otherwise I have to wait inside of that stone sphere to get to this guy. Okay. This boss fight is slow, and I hate it. So normally with these boss fights, if you fill his heart with all of the pineapples on the stage, it will immediately play the cutscene of him getting hit, <clears throat> and continue the next cycle. But for whatever reason with this boss fight, once you get all the pineapples in his heart, he still just kind of sits there. You have to wait like five seconds every cycle, which is not all that terrible, <clears throat> God. because we use that to make things a bit faster. So instead of throwing all the pineapples, I'm just going to keep this one throw it now. So same thing here, I'm gonna hold on to this one for the next cycle. This time I'm not going to drop down because I don't need the bottom one quite yet. I just need to get all these in his heart. And then that would kill him, but just because I'm going to throw that in there. And there we go. The next level is the Melon Kingdom, and we'll again use the Wildebeest animal buddy in the first level, which will allow me to leave the first level with about 700 bananas without wasting any time basically, which is why I would get a platinum crest in the next level as well. It's kind of an annoying level because it's pretty much just, oh, <laughs> that was a uh... Not what I wanted to do. 
Bad mistake. I pressed right. <laughs> okay. It was just the pressure of knowing this drum was a record base, I had to kill it. But so this level's a bit annoying, I have to just pretty much press the right button as fast as possible for two minutes straight. Which can be a bit tiring. It's the only point in the game where I would actually say my arm is a bit tired. So killing this guy gives me a free 100 bananas, which we will do by the end of the level. Kill him with pineapples because he deserves it all. I think it's actually a she, but I don't know. Either way. Getting these birds in groups gives me more bananas as well. So that's used to just build up how many I have in general. That jump was very high. And there he goes. Or she. Who knows? Okay. So I know uh, I have another opportunity here to get a lot of bananas from this long jump mini game, but I'm going to attempt to, yeah, just kind of fall and not jump as far as I can. Although it doesn't look like I can dodge those, I can slip over and under them pretty easily. Their hitboxes are a bit odd. Although it doesn't mean I should underestimate them, otherwise I'm going to do something bad. That's pretty much the only obstacle in this level, is just all of these flaming rocks that I have to avoid. Okay. As I said earlier, I want to end this level with, um, 1200 bananas, which isn't too hard, assuming I don't get hit right here. Or in the rest of the level for that matter. I want to keep this combo to the end. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to bring this bird with me. There we go. It's a bit slower to lose him and grab that bird, and also keeps my combo, and makes these rocks easier to avoid by having the cycle be better. It's kind of hard to get him through that canal earlier, but it's not bad once you're used to it. Okay, that is much more than enough bananas. Much, much more. This bird is RNG, and I got very good RNG. You can either throw a spike ball or a pineapple. I need a pineapple to kill him. Where to go? Um, sir, thank you. And the spike ball just hit me. So, he can hold out and throw a pineapple for quite a long time. I don't know what the maximum is. The longest anyone's gotten that I know of is 10. So it's quite annoying. I have over 200 extra, which is interesting, but... Only a couple frame lost. Doesn't really matter too much. So the water in the background of this boss fight 
causes lag, so I don't need to get all three coconuts. I just need one for each cycle, as I have more time to hit him because of the lag. I can grab a coconut right under there, I can also grab him from under there. And there he goes. The next level is to be my least favorite in the game. I'm not a fan of it. It's pretty awful, honestly. Yeah, shoutouts to lag. It's a great thing. In that scenario, at least. It allows things to be fast. So I only need silver crest for this level, and I need 400 bananas, which I can pretty easily get without worrying about them too much. So I'm going to skip over pretty much everything in this level. And I'm going to attempt to do another item you see that saves about 10 seconds and is very annoying. Hopefully I can get it. I just use that there to swing the rope faster, that's not what I was referring to. Okay. <laughs> so for whatever reason I didn't grab the monkey the first time, that's just a thing that happens with that monkey specifically a lot. I don't know why. But I'm gonna try to do this regardless. I didn't get it, okay. That's fine. If I did get it, I would have flown to the roof of this building coming up. And I would have drop down to about where I am now. Okay, I didn't get anything there either. <laughs> so that's not letting go so well. It's fine though. Combination of those two items that I didn't do correctly would have saved like 15 seconds, so it's not too bad. I got good RNG on the second spider. He only did three blinks, so that's also good. Also paired with nothing, because I was just referring to things that were bad, but whatever. So I'm going to try to swim under this second puffer fish here, and it's kind of hard and I can get hit, which... Okay, I didn't get hit. Which isn't awful, but it's just easier to not get hit, because I keep the combo, and getting bananas is a little less... Um, annoying. I don't have to go out of my way as much now. These mosquito enemies are annoying, and they can hit you in a lot of levels without you noticing, because they're small. Okay, I'm gonna grab this monkey so I can get up here without the stars hitting me, because for whatever reason, if you grab that monkey, the stars are set. I clap there in order to get up that staircase. For whatever reason, if you clap, you go up without getting hit, but if you don't clap, you get hit by like 10 monkeys. There, I use IWC again to just slide up the wall so I can skip two of the three pigs. Which is a bit faster, obviously. Okay. So I need to end this level with about 360, I can get the extra 60 from the minigame. So I'm gonna grab these and that should be in the uh, Had I lost a combo there, it would have been a problem, but I didn't, so it's all good. Alright. The 
this is Ninja Kong. He's a boss. This one's a bit unique, they have a dodge and then punch and then dodge and punch again. Like that. Oh, why did I do that? Okay. For the sake of the marathon and because I messed up, I'm gonna go for the uh this thing. And that is slow, but it is the stylish move called the Shoryu Kong. It's not officially called that, but yeah. Okay, so the next level <clears throat> is the Shoryu Kong, not Kong. So, like. Yeah, he's got it. Uh, the next level is the fake boss, the final boss of the game, Cactus King, who uh, has uh, and uh, who has an email dedicated to him. So, let's get some Cactus Kings in chat. So this is gonna seem like the end of the game. It's gonna be a hyped up boss and credits but it is not, in fact, the end of the game. And it's annoying because we can't skip the credits and have to wait about three minutes for that whole sequence to die. Yeah, I should say there's multiple emoticons dedicated to Cactus King. He's quite the meme in this game. So I should have to fly up here and not get hit by those things, otherwise I fall. It's kind of annoying. Hey. I almost hit the wall there. So this is the boss, and he's dumb. So ideally I'm just going to pin him against the wall for hopefully three cycles, but probably end up being four. Especially with how bad that was. Yeah. So you can just combo him. And I get 800 for defeating him, so that's just a free three crests. Which is why I didn't need to get bananas earlier. And so yeah, this is not the end of the game, as I said before, it is, in fact, far from it. Not far, but there's still a good half hour left to run. And that boss is pretty much identical to the final boss, so we'll be seeing him pretty much again at the end. So yeah, just have to initiate the credits here, the fake credits, and just sit around for two and a half minutes. So if anyone has any questions about the run that I haven't said in my rambling, I can answer those. Because I'm here. No. Okay, good. I saw the credits rolling and I was in another chat. No, this is the fake ending of the game. Okay, how much longer is it? Half hour about. Okay, good. I didn't. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like... Yeah, we still have quite a bit. So unless I misread, I believe it said my... The time when I killed the boss there was about 57 to 40 or so. 
which is pretty good. This one is very good at this moment. Debatably world record paced, honestly. Which would also just be PB paced for me. We still have four more levels in a boss though, and the last four levels are quite interesting, and fun, and somewhat annoying. At least one of them is. And there's some neat IWCs and tricks there as well in the f last four. Quite a bit of them. So yeah, and that's my dog in the background, it's probably audible. I apologize for that. So this is about the end of the credits here. I don't get to see these levels they're showing off right now as I play through them and hopefully not mess up. So it's something about this is that I have to actually go left in order to get to the levels I need to get to instead of right. It's like I'm not even progressing. Okay. So right off the bat, this first level here is a race with a bunch of turtles. Instead of swimming with them, I'm going to hopefully clip through this wall. Okay, that wasn't it. There we go. So yeah. So now I can swim to the start line, start the race, and then swim down to the finish to finish the race in about... 20 seconds instead of 35 or so. Not even 20 seconds, I don't know where I came up with that number. Okay, luckily I didn't ground pound too early, otherwise I would have been out of bounds. I shouldn't have risked that, I don't know why I did. That was good. Now, I don't need to actually finish the race, but for the run it's beneficial too, as I do get 500 bananas for it, which allows the Platinum Crest to be a lot easier to get. Apologies to the dog again. I don't know what his problem is. He must just be really passionate about wanting Jet Set Radio Future HD. He has to bark his opinions. He's a supportive dog. I can't calm his patriotism for this marathon. Okay. So I'm gonna try to keep the combo here until B that I'm going to fight. So getting hit would be very bad. And there's pretty much no risk from here, honestly. At least from getting hit. I could land still, which wouldn't be too much of a big deal. Okay. Could try to maneuver around these. Okay, that was fast. And here's the B, which I can skip, but and I could have there. I had the opportunity to skip him right there, but I want the bananas anyway, so it's okay. Hold on. Up there, please. Mm -hmm. Again, very sorry for the background noise. Okay. So coming up right here is an, an inconsistent clip that I'm going to try a couple times, but if I can't get it, I'm just not going to do it. But, let's try it. Once. Hey, I got it. Okay, so that's a bit of a new clip. I found it pretty recently, and it doesn't work all the time, but if I didn't do that, I'd have to get that clock hand moving and wait for it to go around so I could go around it. And that clip 
through the clock hand saves about 20 seconds or so. It's quite the good find. But it's just annoying because it's not consistent completely. Okay, this boss fight sucks, and it's probably my least favorite in the game. I'm gonna try to two cycle him, but I probably won't. Okay, if I get three coconuts the next cycle, I should get him. Okay. Ooh, that's two. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna hit him bongos real quick. Please. That was so close. Uh, <laughs> it's disappointing, honestly. Oh, hello. Where are you? What are you doing? Okay. That was slow. Really, I said that boss fight sucks. That is the Pear Kingdom. And next is quite an interesting level. It's uh, got a big IWC in it. I guess it's not that big, but it saves quite a bit of time. That's the second level of the kingdom, though, so I'll talk about that when I get there. I also need all four crests in the next level. Platinum. <clears throat> Which is not too hard to get, as I do get 500 for winning this race again. This race is a bit harder, as I do not have a way to see it most of it, being that I have to be in this bird to go up. so soon. Do I have more time to think? Okay. So an ideal time here is anything sub 1. Which I will hopefully get. But anything below like a 105 is good, as that would be winning. I think the other bird finishes at about 105. So this race isn't the easiest, it's not too hard. Okay. So it's not sub 1, but it's still a good time. So right here I'm going to try to keep these bats far away from me, but also a good distance from the wall as I'm going to hopefully slide up against the wall and then clip right about here. Okay, so I skipped a healthy portion of the level, saves about 15-20 seconds. There's ways to get it a bit farther so I end up about here, but doesn't happen all the time, and I can't consistently figure out where I'm going, so... I don't like dogs. Okay. So, hopefully I'm going to keep this combo to the end of the level so I can get the amount of bins I need, and I'll probably get more. 
just based on how this level gives you so many free bananas. But I also have to not get hit by anything, which can be a bit difficult in certain places. Lava pillars are RNG, and I can get through with not having to wait for either of them in very rare occasions, but most of the time I just have to wait for one of them. And sometimes I wait for both to fall, that's annoying. But I had average RNG there, so it wasn't bad. Okay. This part's dumb because if you go too close to the tree, then you can actually lose the bird and fall in lava, and I've done it a few times and killed very good runs with it. Unfortunate times. This boss is fun, as compared to the last one, which sucked. But it's also RNG dependent. So I'm hoping he goes either directly left or down into the right. I guess that kind of works. No time. I don't know if that. Alright. And so that was pretty good RNG. Basically all I don't want him to do is go up on the third cycle. If he stays down then I'm Pretty much good. Um, apologies, the dog. <laughs> Had I known, it would just throw him outside. Figuratively. Maybe literally. That was a trip. Um, so the next level is the Chili Pepper Kingdom, and it's mm, dumb. I only need two crests here, and it's pretty easy to get. Just have to not do anything really dumb and bad. So I just blew into the cloud sensor there too. Okay, I missed. <laughs> so I can cloud the mine faster. I can't believe I missed that bubble, it was interesting. But, yeah. I'm gonna grab flowers here to get an easy hundred for basically no time loss. And I'm going to hopefully not have to take this bubble anywhere. What is going on right now? There we go, okay. Just have to jump up that hill and slide up, but I can get stuck in a little notch in the wall. Yeah, I lost 30 seconds of this level in my PB. I basically have enough bananas at this point, assuming I get the 100 flowers I need. And... So just so I can get this clear, if somebody running this marathon is here, if I were to mute my OBS for a couple seconds, 
Then nothing would go to stream, I assume, right? I didn't mean to grab him. Okay. So as I said, I only need um, 400 in this level, and I already have that much, and I still have a whole level to do. So. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so new tech. Skip the next pig by running and not doing it right. There we go. I'm not even sure if that's faster than doing it though. I enjoy it. So, apologies to the dog. This is another armadillo enemy, but I'm going to hopefully skip him. And that was how I lost 30 seconds in my world record run. Just by missing that, like, five times. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. That rolling rock section can be a bit annoying. Almost as annoying as a dog. But not quite. No, I'm not nowhere near it. Forget it. I'm going to attempt another item you see here that I probably won't get. It'll look cool if I do get it though. I've only gotten it a couple times just even practicing, so I doubt I'll get it, but I'll try. Try one more time. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I didn't really get it. <laughs> so if that works correctly, I clip through the wall and fall behind this enemy, so I don't have to fight him. But it didn't happen, which is fine. I didn't expect it to, honestly. I just figured I'd go for it. So why not? I don't know why I grabbed those. I didn't need them at all. mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is the last of Tarmen. They no longer exist in this game. So, there goes them. Alright. I have like 200 extra bananas, so that's fine. This boss is kind of hard. So this is an elephant fight, but there's two of them. So what I'm going to try to do here is, on the first cycle, if it goes right, I'm going to use all the pineapples that I get from stuffing the elephant's trunks to just kill the left elephant. should be dead, and he is. So now I just kill the right one, which can still be annoying. Apologies to the dog. I'm not going to throw this one, I'm going to wait for the cycle to end, so I can just kill him with this. And there he goes. So that's Chili Pepper, and there's one more kingdom and then the final boss of the game. Well, one more kingdom and includes a boss, and then the final boss of the game. So, still have another 10 minutes or so, about. A little less. <laughs> Dog chin. Oh, my dog. Lil Z. Franker Z. JSRF HD. Okay. So 
So there's a race in the beginning of this level, but you can also skip this one, which saves about a minute. Just by clipping through that wall. And so we're going to start the race at the end of it, so we can finish the race in three seconds. An average race time if you get correctly would be about a minute. It's actually possible to get a zero second time on this, 0.00, .00 but it flings you so far out of bounds that you can't finish the game, so you don't want to do that. That's a different marathon, though. annoying. There's a certain window where you can walk to him and um, clap to prevent him from blowing you away, but it's not a very easy spot to get. It's kind of specific. Apologies to the dog. What is this? Alright, that was my bad. Jumped too early. Okay. So this is the last of the Kokopees right here, and uh, we're fighting this one in space, so it's special. And there he goes. Okay. So that segment can be a bit annoying if you miss one of the coconuts. It can take a little while to recover them if you accidentally knock out one of the birds or something. So I need 800 in this level, 840 for a fast star run, which is what I want. Which isn't too hard to get. And I almost have enough. Apologies to dog. I clapped very aggressively, I don't know why. So that's all three spiders in the game with perfect RNG, so that's cool. So this next thing that I'm hopefully going to get first try is known as Asteroid Skip, and it's done by sliding up a wall, and instead of having to navigate this asteroid, I can... I'm going to try it again, it's faster. I can skip the... <laughs> okay. Like that, there we go. I can skip the navigation of that whole thing by sliding up the wall. So instead of having to go up and around this spiral, I can just skip right to there. This is the other Xiao Xiao in the game, and he can also give a shockwave as soon as he lands, but it's also unlikely, so I didn't expect it to happen. You don't have to wait too long otherwise anyway. dogs. Alright, and I have much more bananas I need. Many more? I don't know. Perhaps. And this next boss fight is Sumo Kong, and he's cool. The main reason he's cool is because he's not a dog. This boss takes four cycles, normally. It can be done in three, but I personally have never done it. I also just got hit twice. Dumb mistake, that's fine though. Alright, so that's the last level of the game. The next level is the final boss. That end a short level, just like the last one was. And it's pretty much identical. So, world record, I believe, passed by now. Current world record is 124.31, unless I'm mistaken, by me. And I think I just passed that very recently. This one's still pretty decent, though.
Okay. So this is Ghastly King. Who also has a few emotes dedicated to him. Maybe just one, honestly, I don't know. Okay. So I'm gonna kill this pig. Even though I can jump over him. Because killing him allows this cycle with the monkeys and the elephant turrets coming up to be much easier to navigate. As they throw their things at the same time about. So that was decent. Alright, so this is the final boss. As I said before, completely the same process as the last one, just have to pin him against the wall for about four cycles. And time's on the last hit, so I'll say when that comes up. Or it is coming soon. Hopefully someone's here to do that. Hopefully. That's ideal. Okay. Please. Alright. Time should be after this cycle. Okay, never mind. Time. I don't think anyone got that. Okay. 126.40? Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I just wanted to make sure that was a thing. Okay. So, uh, that is the end. That is... Hot memes. Uh, let's see. That's the game. Uh, I appreciate being accepted into this marathon with this garbage I have displayed. And, uh, shouts out to the non-existent Jungle Bee community. People should join it. Get this game and speed on it, and be better than me because I'm bad. But yeah. Also stick around for the next run because it's probably going to be cool. I don't know what it is though. Okay. Yeah, so be sure to stick around for that. But as I said, thank you for having this run here. And uh, this is a great marathon. We want Jets of Radio Future HD. Let's make it happen. Everybody tweeted Psycho right now. Or later. But yeah.